All right, we're here with Mitch Duncan. Always nice to get one on the Hawks on Easter Monday. How was that? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, yeah, it was pretty pleasing that second half. First half, you know, we had a bit of work to do, but to get back to playing our footy, I think, um, you know, it was a real positive going forward. So if you can help us all understand, what is the our footy thing that happened at half time? That was an extraordinary performance. Kick 10 goals in a quarter, that's our footy. We like that, but I thought, um, you know, just around the footy, we, we were way better, uh, way better balanced. Uh, we seemed to outnumber them a lot more around the footy, which we're probably getting outnumbered a little bit. Um, I thought our captain was phenomenal, with uh, as was Cam Guthrie around the footy, and, and got the ball going our way. So that always helps, and then, yeah, the rest kind of flow, flow from there. Looked like really wintry conditions from where we were sitting. What was it like out there? Yeah, it was. It was swirly, it was wet, um, you know, wet and slippery. So, yeah, we had to probably adapt to the conditions a little bit. And obviously we, we did all right in the, the third quarter at doing that. But, yeah, challenging conditions. Um, AFL is challenging all the time. So, um, yeah, proud of the boys to, to fight the way we did. And especially after the, the first few weeks, to come back and, and do that was, was pleasing. In your own game, mate, you didn't look rusty at all. How was, how was today for you? Felt a bit rusty early, just adjust, as I said, adjusting to the conditions. Uh, it was blowy and gusty, dropped a few marks. So uh, it's always nice to just to come back and win, to be honest. It kind of panned out well in the end where I could kind of save my legs a little bit towards the end of the game and, and come to the bench and, and rest up for next week. So it's going to be another challenging challenging game uh, over in Adelaide. So, yeah, looking forward to gather around and, and what it brings. Last one, Jeremy Cameron just put in another Jeremy Cameron style performance. Do you just sort of sit there and just watch it sometimes? Yeah, it's um, yeah, pretty privileged to be able to play with Jezza, um, especially in big occasions like today. And to see him doing what he's doing is, um, you know, I said to the group at three quarter time, I just felt proud after that quarter because, you know, the way they've been fighting for the last three weeks and I suppose a bit of the media and, yeah, albeit it's one win, but, um, you know, it's still the emotion that I was feeling. and. Uh, yeah, as a, and going back to Jezza, it's, just, it's the same kind of thing. You're proud to play with people like that and to be able to tell your kids you played with Jezza one day, is, um, yeah, it's going to be good. 65,000 plus showed up to watch us today, Mitch. Some nice words for them. Yeah, it um, it's always can be a challenging time. A lot of people get away and um, you know, school holidays are on, so it's great to, to see so many um, Cats fans at the game. 65,000, we're pretty impressed with that. And, yeah, definitely Herges, um, probably getting frustrated early, but you know, when we got a bit of momentum, Jesus, uh, you're like the 19th player on the field there. So uh, it's super, it's, it's great being back in these rooms too. They bring back good memories. So um, yeah, let's hopefully we can keep it going. Thanks for your time, mate. Happy Easter. Cheers, guys.